I don't believe it. It's the key for my dream. It fits. It moves. Gabriel slides the last tile into place, revealing a compelling coat of arms image of a lion and a snake that looks for With the shield's image in the proper order, the wall opens to reveal a hidden room. Behind the wall is a shrine to Shot and Yeager's past, their weapons, trophies, and legacy. A Shot and Yeager trophy room. Fucking awesome. Gabriel pulls out a book entitled People's Republic of Benin and scans through it. The Republic of Benin is an area of rich and diverse cultures and a proud heritage. Before slaving devastated many tribes, this area was populated by some of the oddest, fiercest, and most powerful tribes in tribal Africa. The Fons, the Dahomies, and the terrible Agri. The book The Primal Ones by John Roots provides insight into these fascinating cultures.
Gabriel takes down the primal ones and opens it. In contrast with the peaceful, nomadic tribes of northern Africa, certain tribes of the southwest were vicious and xenophobic. This part of Africa is called the Red Basin area because of the vast amount of bloodshed that occurred there over the centuries. In this one area of Africa existed, in a perpetual state of war and raiding, some of the most powerful and efficient fighters the world has ever seen. Why did this region inspire such violent behavior? To understand, one must look even further back, see ancient roots of Africa by early days. Gabriel removes ancient roots of Africa and browses through it. The ferocity of the tribes in the Red Basin region is traceable to their predecessors. In Egyptian time, 4000 to 2000 BC, this region was ruled by powerful sun worshippers. We know a little about this mysterious cult by the remnants of ruins far older and of a culture far more advanced than any that exists in Africa today. Sea Sun Worshippers by A. Curate. Gabriel takes down Sun Worshippers and scans it. One of the most earliest religious practices was that of Sun Worship. The most powerful cults of Sun Worshippers lived on the continent of Africa. The African sun god was violent and terrible, and so became his worshippers. They practiced a particularly bloody form of ritual sacrifice. The homeland of this ancient cult is still considered a sacred site of power. See Ancient Digs of Africa by Professor Seymour Shards. Gabriel takes ancient digs of Africa and opens it. The most fascinating archaeological site in Africa is the Great Snake Mound in the People's Republic of Benin, located 50 miles south of the capital in the Red Basin. Like the Snake Mounds of North America, the origin and meaning of these great mounds remains a mystery, though clearly they were the result of profound and urgent spiritual belief. Unlike other snake mounds, the African example is a double snake mound, a small snake ring within a larger snake ring. The mound is thought to have housed an ancient temple. Although archaeologists explored the mound site, the interior remains largely unchanged from ancient times. This is partially due to stringent government regulations and partially to local superstition. The local people regard the mound with fear, and won't go near it. A double snake ring? Gabriel flips furiously, looking for a picture. Oh my god, it's a wheel within a wheel. Gabriel decides to hang on to the snake mound book. Night. I'm cooking your frühstück, a good German breakfast. Please feel at home. I found this book in the library. I think it might tell us where Wolfgang went. Africa? You think Wolfgang went to Africa? I know he did. Then I shall make you a plane trip right now, yeah? Well, I guess so. Good, good. My poor Wolfgang. You have money for the plane, yeah? Are you sure the Ritter estate can't pay? I manage Wolfgang's books, I'm quite sure. Have you any money? I know, we can use his credit card. Terrific. I will go make the call. Then, by we wait, breakfast. Does that mean I can get some coffee now?
Wheel within a wheel. You want I stay here, right? It's a long walk back to the city. Yeah, sure. Wait here, please. I may be a while, though. No problem. I could use a nap. The Snake Mound consists of an outer ring and an inner ring. Two snakes eat in their tails. The mound has stood here for centuries. Gabriel can't affect it so easily. Gabriel would rather not mess with that mummy. Mummy-like figures in contorted poses appear to be the only residents here. Gabriel wonders, was this a burial mound, or does their presence serve some ritualistic purpose? This stone looks interesting. Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. <clears throat> it's stuck. An etched stone is on the wall. <clears throat> it's stuck. An etched stone is on the wall. Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. It's shaped a little like a snake. Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe.
Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. Fits. Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. A shadow flickers in the corner of Gabriel's eye. From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe. Gabriel has the creeping sensation that he's being watched. From off in the mound echoes a sound like the scuffle of a shoe.
The rod fits into the hole in the stone. From somewhere off in the mound, Gabriel hears a soft click, then a rumble. Uh-oh, I have a feeling that did something. these creatures for very long, and there are more on the way. Go to what? The secret panel, boy. These creatures are only alive while it's open. Close it, Gabriel, and hurry! I think I found something. Very good, Gabriel. Now stand back. Wow, the inner wheel. Yes, real this inner wheel. Are you okay? You don't look so hard. I'm fine, Gabriel. The wheel, you dreamt it? Yes, and you? Yes, I must congratulate you on the Three Snakes connection. I had missed it. You will make a wonderful shot in here. Who, me? Yes, it's a long path, my boy. I myself have still the last of my three quests to meet. But let's see what is here. You have found the heart of the apple, but it might be poisoned still. Look at that table. Yes, it is very old. There is a story being told through the carvings on the side. Can you make it out? A tribesman discovers a snake mound hidden in the jungle. He manages, after much time, to find the secret entrance to the inner reel. In this room, he bows down to a small idol of some sort. The thing is radiating, like a sun. That explains the source of the Gedi's tribal power. They found this mound and the idol in it. Where the idol came from originally is hard to say. But it is definitely older than the Gettys. The idol was probably once kept in this table. But they would have it with them now. It must be destroyed. Shall we try this lid? I suppose it wouldn't hurt. Sorry, I'm not... Uh, more help, Gabriel. I don't think it would open so easily, though. Very ten strong men. What about these iron bars? Good idea. Let me help you. these holes. There. That single bar doesn't look like it will give much leverage.
Let's get the other one. Let's try to lift this top. I know it's in there. Yes, it is in there. Oh, I've not felt this powerful since... Well, ever. Why won't the damn lid come off? It is a sacrificial table. It can probably only be triggered by the proper use of that trough there. With a heart. Oh, great. Where are we gonna get a heart? Gabriel, you must take the talisman and be Schwarzenegger. You perform the ritual and dreamt of the dragon, no? <laughs> yes, I did, but you're the current Schwarzenegger. I only did that because... Because you were driven to it. I have done nothing with this title for many years. Ah, oh, even in my prime, I had few cases. Ah, uh, no, if, if my life had a purpose, it was to bring you to this point. But I have no idea what I'm doing. It's not a science, Gabriel. It is instinct. And you have it in your blood. Trust it. The castle is yours now. It has many documents and records which will help you in the future. Well, thanks for the confidence, but what about this table? I want you to go into the next room and get the heart from that dead creature on the floor. Will that work? Doesn't it need to be fresh? Let us try. Perhaps there's some of the old Ritter magic left. Go on. First job was a shot, Jaeger. Cutting up dead monsters. Okay, I'm just a little anxious. No, they haven't. I just need to talk to Gabriel. After arranging for the shipment of Wolfgang's body back to Rittersburg, Gabriel returns to Norlands. He carries with him the Ritter talisman. He has not heard from Grace for over 24 hours, and he could not reach Malia by phone. And although he has some idea of what he is coming home to attempt, he still has no clue where to attempt it. Or does he? Grace, I'm home. Grace? Oh no. Grace!
the north is from Malia. It says... Gabriel, I hope you survive long enough to get this. Tetelo knows you have the talisman. Your life is worth nothing, my love. I fight to save you, but she controls things far more than I. She has taken grace. Return the talisman and leave Norlins forever. If you don't, I can't help you. Please. I can't bear to see you die. Please believe me. I love you. Molly. Who's there? I have the talisman. Yeah? Good for you. I got a headache. You? Don't come near me, you're dead. Huh? Oh, that was you at the tomb? You should have said something. You mean you weren't dead, you son of a bitch? Do I look dead? No, wait, don't answer that. I was searching the tomb. When I heard someone coming, I broke the light and got in the drawer. I I'm sorry I brained you, but I thought you were one of them. Christ, you about killed me. Hey, I said I was sorry. Besides, I owed you one for stealing my badge. If it makes you feel any better, I lost my wallet that day. Your wallet? Oh, uh, I guess you're right. We are even. Like I said, anyway, we shouldn't stand out here and gap. Someone on the street might see us. Let's go in back and talk. Okay, now let's talk. All right, let's talk. Let's make a plan. What do you think we should do? We need to find the headquarters of the Getty Cartel, rescue Grace, and dig up some concrete evidence so that I can take this straight to the FBI. Sounds easy. Uh-huh. Do you have any idea where their headquarters might be? Perhaps. Well, you do seem to have a knack for sniffing out this voodoo stuff. Why don't you see if you can locate it for sure? Meanwhile, I got some things I gotta do. I'll meet you there later. How will you find it? Damn, that's right. If I only had the tracker from my office. I have it. Really? Good going. You give it to me and leave a signal device at the entrance to the headquarters. All right. Here's the tracker. Great. Don't forget to leave the signal device near the entrance to the Hound Four. And be careful. You too. No, no safe full of money back there. Daddy's painting. Gracie must have bought it back from Bruno herself. Times dated June 28, 1993. The weather service is baffled by the series of bizarre storms that rocked the south yesterday. Twenty died and close to a hundred were injured. The storms only accentuate the bad luck that seems to have gripped the south. The crime rate for the past three days has peaked to unprecedented levels, and there has been 50 reports of food poisoning in Narlins alone. In other words, keep your heads down, folks, and pray that August will return us to sanity. Warily, Gabriel reads his horoscope for the day. Gird thyself with mercy, arm thyself with righteousness. The final hour awaits. There's a school teacher somewhere who's damn confused.
Something about this knot hole looks familiar. It's moving. I knew it. Ride's over. Gabriel puts the snake rod under the bench for Mosley. All right, Mosley. There's your signal. I think I've got everything I need. Might as well see it through. The elevator stops at a room underneath the cathedral. Express elevator to hell. I don't think I should touch those. It's locked. This looks like a supply room. This ball mass seems appropriate for Mosley. If he ever makes it. These robes will make good disguises. I think I'll take this wolf mask for me.
The book looks like an accountant's record book. The cover is printed with the words Getty Tribe. The Getty Tribe record book contains the names and rotted drum codes for tribal members. This record book might be the kind of thing Mosley wanted for the FBI. A portrait of a beautiful, intelligent-looking woman is on the wall. She reminds Gabriel of Malia. Her mother, perhaps? Although Gabriel likes the painting, he doesn't want to carry it around right now. To Murray Paseum Cree. Better to die than run away. A plastic card on a chain hangs on the wall. Il en a nous déjà. smells of Malia's perfume. Someone's coming. Tetelo, come to me. Your daughter requests an audience. What is it you seek, child? Tetelo, I beg you again, for my sake, spare Gabriel's life. Do not protect or mourn that one. He would only betray Gabriel would never betray me. He will. As Gunter betrayed, betrayed me. Blinded by the light, he will despise your darkness. No, I don't believe that. You were betrayed, but Gabriel is different. I... I cannot serve you any longer. Choose another. I cannot go on. Ha! So you say. Because you are drawn to the light. What you do not know is that the light will never have you. You only corrupt it when you draw near. I don't believe you. This way, this life is too painful. I must be free of it. You can never be free. You will see, my daughter. What I have told you is true. You will see. Wait! I won't go through with it! I won't! Gabriel doesn't want to think about what it would take to open the table.
Okay, I'll give it a shot, but I'm no musician. A door opens in the distance. The door opens and shuts in the distance. Dr. John must have returned to his room. I know it's dirty money, but it's for a good cause. Me. I hate to say it, but I can't carry any more. I will. A million or so ought to hold me. Gabriel doesn't want to touch anything in this butcher shop. Human hearts. So that's what they do to them. But why? Maybe I shouldn't even ask. They're used for some powerful Grigri, no doubt. Or maybe that's what Tetelo has for lunch. Underneath the surgical lamps is a gurney with a body on it. No one I know.
Brace. Oh, I found her. The sounds of Rada Drum's echoes through the Hound for. The ritual must be about to begin. Mostly. You made it. Thank God. I thought I saw you ducking in here. Those goddamn drums started as soon as I got off that elevator thing, and I heard voices from above. I have the feeling the mass voodooese are about to invade. I found Grace. I see that. Check her out, then you and I need to find a way to blend into the woodwork, bud. Grace, wake up. Talk to me. Grace does not respond. This talisman is supposed to have some sort of power. Grace! Wake up! Grace! What? What's... what's going on? Gabriel, Mosley, where are we? What's going on? We're in the Getty Cartel Houndfall, Grace. A ritual is about to begin, and I'm afraid you're the main course. Is that what those drums are? I heard them in my sleep. I couldn't wake up. Yeah, makes you want to dance, don't they? Be serious. What are we gonna do now? Right. Let's make a plan. What do you want us to do, Gabriel? You're asking me? Oh god, we're in trouble. Well, I realize that I'm the professional, but you do know more about what we're up against here. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Grace, they expect you to be unconscious, so you better fake it. That should put you in a good position when it's time. Uh, Mosley, you and I'll be with the other ritualists. As for the ritual itself, I'd say Tetelo is our worst problem. I remember from the bayou that she didn't show up until Dr. John blew that drug on Malia's face. If I can prevent him from doing that, we can keep Tetelo out of it, I think. How are you gonna do that? I don't know. I'll think of something. Uh-huh. What if Tetelo does show up? Let's just worry about making sure that doesn't happen. Okay, so you're gonna prevent this spirit thing from showing up. Fine. I'll take care of the big guy, Dr. John, when the time comes. And I can handle Malia herself. As long as she is Malia. Well, keep an eye on her for her own good. But don't hurt her. Who, me? We'll wait for your signal then. Fine, but you guys aren't gonna get far looking like that. I'll keep the masks and robes together. Here, yeah, it's a disguise. Gee, a boar. How thoughtful. And what are you, pray tell? Uh, a wolf. A wolf. How appropriate. You goddamn wiener. Someone's coming. Grace, get down. What are you doing here? Thought this room was empty. Go to the circle now. Stop! I won't let you kill her! You can't stop me! Watch your friend die! Uh-oh. The talisman seems to have little effect at protecting Grace from this distance. Ah! Go! 
Get her, Dr. John! Kill her! We must have the sacrifice! You have killed my chosen one, Witch Hunter! For that! You shall pay! But first, these intruders shall die! Give me the talisman, Witch Hunter, or your friends will die horribly right now! Sure, Titolo. You want the talisman? Here, catch! Ah! Go on, get Grace out of here. The talisman will protect you. What about... Just go! You are unarmed now, Witch Hunter. Approach me and near. Malia, are you there? She's too powerful. No! Stop! you let go! Goodbye, my love. No! I think it's over now. I'm sorry about Malia. I know you cared for her. You've changed, you know? Have I? Yeah. So are you gonna do it? Be Schottenjäger? I'm gonna try. Don't worry though, you'll be back in school safe and sound. I don't have to go back. There's a lot to learn right here. A spiritual path can be more important than a path of the mind, you know. Hmm. Well, you're welcome to stay, Gracie, just as long as you don't expect me to know what I'm doing. This is a historical moment, isn't it? Three hundred years ago, the Ritter Talisman was stolen by Tedalo. She used it to draw her family to power, while your family withered. Now she's gone and your family's restarting. It almost makes you wonder if it wasn't supposed to happen that way. You know, good coming from evil. You think too much. But really, I think the most tragic thing was all those generations of young women, like Malia, trapped by this large, overriding personality, forced into a life of horror. Yeah, kind of reminds me of living with you, Grace. You know when I said you'd changed? Yeah? I was wrong. Are you sorry? Nah. <laughs> <laughs>